I'm going to test 4 amp class CC AT DR fuses protecting a Marathon Electric 3600 RPM motor. It's operating at 208 volts. We are using interlocking push buttons, interlocking contacts on the starter, and mechanical interlocking. So we're using a reversing starter. We have the overloads connected. The interlocking push button contacts, the normally closed contacts break before the normally open contacts make. So what we'll do is we'll start it in forward right now. And when we run it in forward, we have no issues. And I can run this stopping and starting it all day long without any issues. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change from forward to reverse. So what happens is when you hit the reverse button, it breaks the contact interlocking the forward circuit. And then it breaks the contact that drives the coil on the reversing starter. So now we're in reverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's called plugging, which means that I'm going to operate it quickly from forward to reverse. Now some applications you can do this in the field. Uh, some applications you need a timer. It's called an anti-plugging timer and we'll be designing a circuit for that. So I'm going to hit it in forward. So we've plugged it into forward. I'm going to plug it back into reverse. Okay, so we can do that. If we do it repeatedly, we may run into issues because the overload will heat up. So let's try it. Okay, so what just happened is the overload heated up. Now I've done this test over and over and we have not blown a fuse. I've had meters on here testing the inrush. It can get uh, pretty high when you were uh, when you're operating it, when you're plugging it like that. But the fuses hold uh, the delay. They hold up to uh, twice their rated current for 12 seconds. So it can handle a quick spike in and out to a certain degree if you size them correctly. So that's a four amp fuse. No problems on nuisance tripping.